This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams on Annie and we're working on her position for the leg yield. Let's start at the walk and feel that. Grab that neck strap. It'll keep you honest with your reins. Okay, now think you're bringing her over to the left with your left cat. Oh, there you go. Eyes up. Look in the direction you're going. Four steps, then straight. Good. Four steps. Left leg, calf, calf, and straight. That's right. Now we're not focusing on her keeping in a perfect balance with her body and stuff. This is about you learning what to do with yours. Notice how you go right back to nudging with your heel. Right there. Feel, you felt yourself kicking with that right heel, didn't you? That's what you want to change. If you have to nudge that much, you're not using your calf or your whip right. Now the other thing I'd like to point out is your whip should be positioned over your right thigh. That's it. So now you're going to think. Whip laying across your right thigh and then using your calf depending on which way you go because we're going to the left right now that's all right now look in the direction you want her to go have her go over there with your right leg yep Whoop. Right. oh here come the mares her <laughs> <laughs> that's her herd mates that's all. You can talk. yeah <laughs> they always get her attention all right let's go back to miss annie now that's it that's all right so now you know what she's looking at that's it Okay, now, no, now notice in your leg, are you working it from your heel or from your calf? I'm working from my calf. Good, I know that's what it is. At first, all you can do is try. Okay, when she does a leg yield, as we come down this time, take your time, think leg yield right there. You're going to start using it in your corners so she starts using her back end different. Good, come down the center, or you can go down, we can do steps, you can go down the quarter line. Now when you do your leg yield, she should pick up your, let's see, right, left seat bone. So left calf sends her into your right seat bone. Good. Take your time. That's it. Take your time. What does the neck strap make you do with your reins? Keep them where they should be. That's right. And that's what happens with most people doing the lateral work is they start using their rein instead of their body. She says, but the girls are over there, Mom. Where's your whip? That's right. You're going to get really aware of if that whip is laying across your right thigh. Okay, we're going to switch to the left side now. So carry your whip on the other side. It'll be harder for you to keep the whip on that left thigh. That's it. Start coming down the center line. It'll give you more steps. So we're going to do leg yield four steps straight, leg yield four steps straight. If you still go over to the end of the ring, you'll have more steps. Okay, notice her body twisting. Yeah. Okay, keep your left whip across the thigh. If her body's twisting, you need to use more left leg to get her to bring her haunches over. That's right. Look in the direction you want her body to go. Good. Take your time. That's it. That's where you need your right leg and rein to straighten her out. Good. Go way over to the letter H this time. It'll give you more space to come across. Oh, wait. Your lip whip is on the left hand, so you want to start over there. You're right. Yeah. That's it. Okay, look where you want her to go. Use your left leg to bring her to the letter E. That's right. Give her a bump. Give her a bump. There you go. Good, good. Notice that's where she loses her shoulder. That's where you're going to use your left neck rein neck strap and left rein to keep her from pushing her shoulders more to the right. That's right. Now plan it, do a smaller circle there so you can do more steps. She's actually paying pretty good attention to you even with the mares being there. What? <laughs> you troublemakers, you. <laughs> Melody just wanted to see what she's going to have to do. Yeah, that's, right. that's it. Take your time. Take your time. Good. Keep her neck straight. It's just a, a positioning of the pole for the leg yield. So the body stays straight. It's a, just a slight flexion to the left. That's all right. Get her back end. You can feel when she starts leading with her shoulder, right? Front of the saddle should be pointed forward. Praise her. Good. All right. Now we're going to go back to isolating your lower leg as you do this. That was better because first we had to get you aware of how you could use your rein different. Notice your hands are down lower now. 
Okay, think of pulling yourself up into the saddle before you start your leg yield. That's right. Now you're going to be doing that every time you're going to do four steps, pull yourself in. When you walk straight, pull yourself in again. That's right. Keep her front end pointed straight. Move the back end more. That's right. Use your calf. That's right. Okay, when you go straight, pull yourself into the saddle. Good, good. Without raising your seat. That's it. That's where you need more outside rain. You can feel where she starts turning her shoulder out. So you can use your right leg with the intent of bringing her shoulder to the left and your right rein. Do you hear how I said the word intent? Your left leg and rein will push her over to the, help her shift over to the right, but your right rein and leg have to be there to keep her shoulder straight. And neck strap, that's right. Keep her straight, look straight ahead with her body. You're gonna look at the letter B. Push your rear end over more. That's it. Good, good. Keep her neck straighter. Remember in the leg yield, there's no bend in the neck. Good. Much better with your hands. Yeah, you feel your left hand wants to go way all over the place. Good. She's starting to pick you up different. Feel it? Good. What did you say? Oh, your left leg's giving you problems. I'll bet it is. By now, it's probably screaming. That's right. Feel how you're nudging with your heel? That's where you've got to use your left calf muscle instead because now you know your left leg doesn't touch her barrel above the above your ankle so you really can't use that part of your leg if you're going to get her to connect more with your riding position good take your time look where you want to go make it a dance that's right that's right now you're seeing your right leg your left leg is staying on her more isn't it well, that's all right. That's where she should be. You know, twisting happens and all the lateral work until we get more. That's why we do it. Good. Do you want to try this at the trot? Watch your leg. Feel how right away you go back into that old position.